at what she's talking about here. Uh, let me see. Oh, wait a minute. I might have to, uh, I might have to, uh, refresh here. Hang on, guys. Here we go. Give one piece of advice. Dump him. Just dump him. Hang on a second. Women 30 and older, if you could give one piece of advice. Dump him. If you could give one piece of advice. Just dump him. This is your opportunity to figure out who you are and to live your best life. Trust me, even if you do want a relationship in the future, you will get one because women who know who they are and who are confident and happy attract oh whoever boy. they want. Oh boy. Also, wear your sunscreen every day and stop using makeup wipes. Women 30 and old. All right. So. If you could give one piece of advice to a girl in her early 20s, what would it be? And this girl's advice is dump him. Older, if you could give one piece of advice. Dump him. Just dump him. This is your... Dump him. Just dump him. It's, it, it, is, it is amazing to me. It is amazing to me that older women, older modern women... Do not give, they give destructive advice to modern young women. Older women who have been, who, dude, they know what happens. They know what happens when you live your best life. They know what happens when you're a hoe all through your 20s and 30s. But they're still telling these girls to be hoes, knowing full well, knowing full well that this is not what you should be doing. Unbelievable. Uh, dude, Old, listen, older guys are always putting the younger guys up on game. For whatever reason, older women seem to want to, they seem to want to just sabotage younger women. I'll never understand it. Your opportunity to figure out who you are and to live your best life. Figure out who you are and to live your best life. Translation, sleep around indiscriminately. Sleep around indiscriminately. That, that, that's, that's what it is. Trust me, even if you do want a relationship in the future, you will get one. Because women who know who they are and who are confident and happy attract whoever they want. No. They, dude, again, more lies. Just because you say you're confident and happy doesn't mean you are confident and happy. And even if a woman is confident and happy, she doesn't attract whoever she wants. She can attract whoever she gets. That's what it is. Dude, again, bad advice. She's advising younger women. Yeah, Blackest Panther says misery loves company. That's right. These women are advising younger women to be hoes and selling them this lie. That, listen, you can be hoes, live your best life, etc., 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 etc. But then when you're done being a hoe, you'll be able to, you'll be able to uh, get whoever you want. Brendan Hines in the chat says no ring on her finger. Exactly, exactly. I don't know why. I don't know why women take dating and relationship advice from women who are not in relationships. Like the, you wouldn't take advice. You wouldn't take financial advice from someone who is broke. You wouldn't take diet and nutrition advice from someone who's fat. So why on God's green earth do women consistently take advice from women who are not in good, solid, healthy relationships? Also wear your sunscreen every day and stop using makeup wipes. Women. Th That's actually good advice. That's actually good advice. Stop wearing makeup or stop you wear sunscreen stop using makeup wipes i've heard all right let's go to the next one this one is entitled this one is entitled bad bitch one oh ladies these are some tips on being a bad bitch pay close attention if on bad bitch pay close attention if you didn't do anything wrong you have nothing to be afraid of if someone wants to confront you let them because you're innocent guilt tripping is a form of manipulation and once you stop letting people make you feel sorry for them you'll reclaim your power Stop letting your ego get in the way of your peace. Who cares if they're talking shit about you? Who cares if they're calling you crazy? Use that block button. Cut them off. It doesn't matter. Protect your peace. Bad bitches are always succeeding and doing better for themselves. You know why? Because they're only focused on themselves. Do the same. Stop worrying about other people. Ladies, these are some tips on being a bad bitch. Pay close attention. Okay, so again, <clears throat> we have an attractive woman who thinks that being a bad bitch is attractive. Oh boy. If you didn't do anything wrong, you have nothing to be afraid of. If, if you didn't do anything wrong, you have nothing to be afraid of. I have no idea what she's talking about here. 
If you would do, if you didn't do anything wrong, I guess she's talking about conflict. If someone wants to confront you, let them because you're innocent. Guilt tripping is a whoa. If someone wants to confront you, let them because you're innocent. If you cheated on your boyfriend and he confronts you about it, you're not innocent. She's literally telling women, just do whatever you want. They can't prove it. Just let them. Is a form of manipulation. Guilt tripping is a form of, of manipulation. This is interesting. Women never like to be called out on their crappy behavior. They hate it. They hate it. They don't like to be called out on their crappy behavior. They don't like to be held to a higher standard. And so anything that doesn't give them the feels is characterized as manipulation. Oh, he's telling you that you need to lose weight. He's manipulating you. And by the way, uh, by the way, um, never commit to women who are overweight. Don't do that. You will never, ever, ever have her commitment when and if she actually becomes healthy. Just understand that. And I've talked about this many times. And once you stop letting people make you feel sorry for them, you'll reclaim your power. Stop letting your ego get in the way of your peace. Who cares if they're talking shit about you? Who cares if they're calling you crazy? You Somebody ban Mason DeFrump. Mason DeFrump, bitch, you've gotten too fucking comfortable, bitch. Be gone. See ya. See ya. Nah, fam. Don't get the fuck out. You're talking to my dude, bitch, you've been in this, you've been in this, you've been in this chat for seven for seven minutes. And you're over here cussing, cussing my guys out. Mason DeFrump, get her the fuck out of here. Be gone. Cannot stand you bitches who come in here thinking y'all can just talk a bunch of shit. Bitch, you got to have time in for that. Fuck out of here. Use that block button. Cut them off. It doesn't matter. Protect your peace. Bad bitch. Protect your peace. Bitches are always succeeding and doing better for themselves. You know why? Because they're only focused on themselves. Ah, bad bitch. Are, they're always succeeding. And doing better than and doing better for themselves because they're always focused focused on themselves. Well, if sleeping around is doing good, then yes, if sleep, yeah, I mean yeah. But again, but again, as a woman, as a woman, you can't be selfish. A woman who says I focus on myself is a woman who is selfish. Selfish women are masculine women. We don't want masculine women. Do the same. Stop worrying about other people, ladies. These are some wow. Stop worrying about other people. You want to be a bad bitch? Cheat on your man. Deny, deny. Be selfish. Got it. Next video. Oh, this is, oh, this one is really good. So, so this. The only way to correct. Okay, so this. Bad behavior in a man. So, so this again, this is another, this is another comfortable bitch. Um, with about three or four pounds of fake hair. The only way to. Uh, about three or four pounds of, uh, of filters. Uh, in this motherfucker T talking about how to correct a man's behavior. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's watch and see. Correct bad behavior in a man is acknowledge it the first time and then copy it the second time. <laughs> there are some jokes out play. there that if you say, hey, this makes me uncomfortable or hey, I would like for this behavior to change, like he'll change the first time you ask. But there are some stubborn men. So oh. say you're uncomfortable with your man being out past midnight. Acknowledge it the first time. Just say, hey, babe, this makes me a little uncomfortable. It will make me feel better if you came home mm -hmm. by midnight. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't respect your boundary when you acknowledge it, then it's time for phase two. Copy his behavior. Oh. Make him feel how you feel. Ah. So if he's out late and it makes you feel anxious and worried about his whereabouts, mm -hmm. make him feel that same way. Mm. If he's out and it's midnight and you still haven't heard from him, mm -hmm. find somewhere to go. Find something to do. Let him worry how you worry. And I promise you, that habit that you don't like, it'll stop. The only way... She's actually right. It will stop, but I'll tell you why after we watch this a second time. Here we go. To correct bad behavior in a man is... That, dude, that's that's the first loss right there. Mm. Bitch, you don't correct bad behavior in men. Okay? You're a goddamn woman. You're a woman. You can't correct bad behavior in men who have options. What today's modern women seem to still be in the dark about is the fact that there are more of them than there are of us. We're the ones in the catbird seat. We're the ones with true abundance. Modern women have fake abundance. They have fake abundance. Why else do you think they're all over TikTok telling guys to dump him for the stupidest things, but then in the same breath, where have all the good men gone? Well, it's because you guys don't have abundance like that. We as men, we can give advice that says, hey man, if a bitch steps out of line, Fucking get rid of her. Peace out. Peace out. You want to come back to the crib after after misbehaving? Nope. Mm -mm. Sorry.
Uh uh-uh. uh. And we know there's always going to be another bitch because, well, bitches are a dime a dozen. Men of even marginal value are much rarer than even attractive women. So, yeah, correcting a, ba- correcting a man's bad behavior, good luck with that. Is acknowledge it the first time and then copy it the second time. That. Acknowledge it the first time, copy it the second time. So, basically, you're going to do to him what he's allegedly doing to you. Yeah, that's a great way to teach a man a lesson. There are some gyms out there that if you say, hey, this makes me uncomfortable, or hey, I would like for this behavior to change, like, he'll change the- Ah, there are some gems, I guess she said, gems out there. Hey, I'll change. Most men are like this, guys. Most men are like this. If you're in a relationship with an attractive woman like this one and she says, hey, I want XYZ to change, most men will change. But as we all know, if you let a woman change you, eventually she will leave you. The Eliminable Man said it best long time ago in his post, Dominance and submission, and I'm paraphrasing here because he is a brilliant, brilliant writer, wordsmith extraordinaire. A man will build and mold a woman into something he loves. A woman will bold a woman will mold and build a man into something she despises. When a man takes control of a woman and she follows his direction, she becomes better for it. Take my girlfriend Devin, for example. She is, dude, I've known her for seven years. At the age of 46, she is more physically attractive than she was when she was 39. She has better habits. She's a good girlfriend. She is, dude, she doesn't, dude, she drinks a lot. I mean, she drinks a lot less. She takes care of herself. She's healthy. She's happy. She will tell you this. She will tell you this. Devin would not be the woman she is today without your boy. But if I were to allow Devin to change me, this relationship would have ended a long time ago. When, when, when women are in charge of men, they build defective men. When men are in charge of women who know what they're doing, they build good, solid women. The first time you ask, but there are some stubborn men. So- ah, stubborn men, translation, high value man. There are some high value men who, who just don't take shit from basic bitches like you. Okay, you're, you look young and you look to be attractive, but you're a basic bitch. You're sitting in somebody else's car. You're sitting in a man's car that you are unattracted, that you are not attracted to anymore because you've changed him, telling other women how to get where you are. So say you're uncomfortable with your man being out past midnight. Mm-hmm. Acknowledge it the first time. Just say, hey, babe, this makes me a little uncomfortable. It will make me feel better if you came home by midnight. If- okay. So if your woman says, hey, it, this makes me uncomfortable, It would make me feel better if you came home by midnight. Now, now, most high-value men are not out past midnight. They're just not. They're, they're, They're just not. They've got other shit to do. Like, men of true value, yeah, every once in a while, they might go out drinking with their boys, whatever the case may be. But any, but, but if a man, if a woman is with a man who's out, past 12 o'clock every night, well, that's a you problem, baby girl. You see, by revealing this, by using this example, she is revealing herself as someone who deals with fuck niggas. That's who she deals with. Ladies, if you're dealing with a man who's out past midnight more than once a week, you're probably not dealing with a dude who's ready for a relationship, and you're probably not dealing with a dude who has realized his potential. Yes, going out, tying a few off with your boys every once in a while to blow off some steam, perfectly okay. But, ladies, if you're with a man who you have to worry about going out past midnight every night, that's the wrong dude. Or is it? Maybe you do want these fuck boys, these fuck niggas, and just can't admit it. If he doesn't respect your boundary when you acknowledge it, then it's time for phase two. Ah, she thinks that's a boundary. Women are not allowed to have boundaries, guys. If you're a man of value, the only boundaries that are set are yours. Devin doesn't have any boundaries, guys. She doesn't have any boundaries. She doesn't. She doesn't say, Donovan, this is a deal breaker. This is my boundary. Nope, nope, no fucking boundaries. None, none whatsoever. None whatsoever. 
And the reason why she doesn't have boundaries is because she knows that there are a shit ton more of her than there are of me. This is how it is, guys. This is supply and demand. This is math. Shout out to Steep2222 with the $20 super chat. Appreciate that very much. But yes, Devin knows. She clearly understands the law of supply and demand. That's why she doesn't have boundaries. Not only that, I'm, I'm mature enough. To, she knows me well enough to the point to where I'm not, I'm not sadistic. I'm not going to physically hurt her on purpose. Maybe with my dick. Give her a little bit of pleasurable pain that way. But outside of that, I'm not putting my hands on her. I'm not purposely trying to make her uncomfortable. So what boundaries does she need to have? Ladies, you're in no position to have boundaries with men of value. You're not. You're not. Now, if you're 19 years old and you're virginal and you still with, live with mom and dad, well, okay then. Now you get to make some boundaries because you have a little bit of value. But this basic bitch with two pounds of fake hair sitting in a Nissan Altima, you can't have boundaries, baby girl. Like you're attractive, but you don't, you're not young enough, you don't look good enough, and you fuck too many niggas to have boundaries. Ladies, understand this. Understand this. When you're a hoe, you can't have boundaries. Sorry. Sorry. That's why you, dude, that's why you hoes out here are single. Well, I want my man to have this, that, and a third. Okay, like you can have those lists and boundaries, but are you in position to demand those? Nope. Didn't think so. Copy his behavior. Uh, Make him feel how you feel. So copy his behavior. Make him feel how you feel because clearly men and women are different. Gentlemen, this is the worst advice. This is the worst advice I've ever heard. Ladies, listen to this woman's advice at your peril. If he's out late and it makes you feel anxious and worried about his whereabouts, make him feel that same way. Mm. If he's out mm -hmm. and it's midnight mm -hmm. and you still haven't heard from him, mm -hmm. find somewhere to go. Find something to do. That right there, ladies, will get you dumped in a New York minute. If you're dealing with a dude with options, he's not going to, dude, he's not going to stand for that. Like, if I was dating this hoe and she came at me with, hey... It kind of makes me uncomfortable that you're out. You know what my response would be? Well, sweetheart, I'm going to do what I do. This is how I get down. If you don't like it, you don't have to be here. Invariably, she'll stick around because I've got backbone. But then if I go out, then I get home or I don't hear from her. I, you know, I find out she's out or whatever. Guess what? That's it. I cut this hoe loose, man. I cut this out loose. So so let me get this straight. You feel some type of way that I'm out. So you're going to go out to try to make me feel how you feel? Cool. No sweat off my back. You're fucking gone, ho. See ya. Later. So ladies, if you want to get dumped by men in demand, please, by all means, follow this woman's, follow this woman's advice. This has got to be the dumbest advice I think I've ever heard. Ever. Oh, this girl is absolutely hilarious. So this is I called dump. Start. So this is called dump him part one. A series on TikTok called dump him. If you've been together longer than two years, or if he's over the age of twenty eight and he doesn't want to get married or isn't ready to settle down, oh boy, dump him. Oh my god. If he tells you what you can and can't oh. wear on girls' night out, oh, dump him. He won't watch Bravo with you. Dump him. If he wears short-sleeved hoodies, bitch, you better dump him. Guys, I'm not trying to be mean. I promise I'm not trying to be mean. Kiera, Ki oh, what's this girl's name? Oh, Ki oh, Ki oh, Kiera has opinions. Oh, does she? Okay, Kiera. Kiera, I'm not trying to be mean, bitch, you're fat. You're fat, you're obese, you're overweight. Sweetie, uh, like, I'm, I need to do a TikTok like these bitches out here. Can somebody explain to me, can somebody explain to me why it's only the fat bitches out here talking about dumping dudes, right? Again, we've got triangular fingers, lunch lady arms. I can't see your collarbone. I don't know what you look like from the waist down. That's not an accident. And you're talking like somebody who looks like you talks is talking about dumping dudes? Like you got options like that? Nope. I don't know. You're kind of acting like it. I've decided to start a series on TikTok called Dump Him. 
if you've been together longer than two years or if he's over the age of 28 and he doesn't want to get married or isn't ready to settle down, dump him. If she's over 125 pounds, dump her. If he tells you what you can and can't wear on girls' night out, dump him. If she does girls' nights out, don't commit to her. He won't watch Bravo with you? Dump him. <laughs> she watches Bravo? Dump her. If he wears short-sleeved hoodies, bitch, you better dump him. If she's fat and she wears leggings, nigga, you better dump her. Look, man, look, all these bitches think that this is so funny. Oh, he's this and pointing out all these like, dude, like, look at you. Look at you. What are we doing? Like, again, this woman does not have the sexual market value to be talking about her qualifications. Like, ain't no, like, dude, ain't nobody trying to wife that up, but she wants to say dump him for what? I don't know why it's, dude, I don't know why it's always these, I don't know why it's always the big bitches who seem to have the highest standards.